all right guys welcome back to the channel uh we're gonna do a quick video this is just a real quickie on fibonacci retracements um this is a pretty good tool for uh measuring basically if you're in a basically tracking whether um the market's going to go up or it's going to go down it's not a full foolproof method but it uh does help in trading and a lot of traders use this so it kind of is a self-fulfilling prophecy so if a bunch of people are using it and going by the same tiered um, uh, levels or percentages it's almost self-fulfilling so uh, a big thing with the uh, fibonacci retracements when you're first drawing them this is on tradingview.com there's a little section over here i'll show it to you it'll show up as like a pitchfork like this for your first one but we're going to select fib retracements this is on tradingview.com. Um, or what you do is you start from the low of the market and then you go all the way up to the peak. So we're going to go where it's currently at right now. So with the FIB retracements, you have uh, the 100%, um, 0 0.786, 0 0.618, 0 0.5, 0 0.382, 0 0.236, and zero. Um, there's some more information on why those numbers were selected. But mainly uh, what you're going to be looking at is the 618.5.382. These are um, pretty common levels that most traders trade in. So that's what they're looking at. So like if you can see here, 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 um, kind of goes out of it, but then it comes right back up to it. This is slowly when it's kind of in a bearish market and it's trying to, the, the bulls are trying to beat it out as you can see. So you can kind of see the levels that as soon as it uh, goes through that level, it eventually retraces and goes back. So if you look over overall, this is this 50% level is like uh, big time resistance. So as soon as we pop that resistance, that's when we started our bull market. So this one, it popped it, but it couldn't beat it. So it came back down. And then the bears, uh, the bulls were starting to battle against the bears, started to pop back up. And then it was confirmed as soon as it passed and hit the 382 level. Once it hits this, that means, okay, look, we're in a bull market. Confirms, goes, and that's where you see a huge price increase. So if you go back here, you can see where we started back um, when it big time tanked off. And you can see, let's see. So it comes up to here, it's trying to beat it out, tries to go back into a bullish market. No, not today. Goes down, tries to go into a bearish. No, not today, so we'll retest. Tries to get bullish. No, not today, so we'll retest. Now it goes, here's where it hits bearish. All right, so now we're in a bearish market. This is probably where you start looking at like, okay, it's probably going to go down a couple. And it does. Goes down, retraces, tests the bearish sentiment. Nope. Stays bearish. Comes back, retests, fails again. And we go all the way down to five. Really good buying opportunity. Actually, it goes lower than that. You guys can't even really see it. It actually goes down to about here, which is where it last retraced to. You can't see it because it was a one day um, quick in and out. But if you look on a um, shorter term chart, you'll be able to see it. So let's see if we do one year. You see it went. Oh, actually, you can't even see it then. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but you won't be able to see it. But this is zoomed in on the fib retracements. You can kind of see it a little better. But let's go back in time. Let's do another fib retracement. We'll do one for here. So you hit this section here. You start from the lowest downswing. And you go to the highest upswing. Not much to trace here, but you can tell it's got a lot of... <laughs> it definitely peaked in this market. Hit straight bullish on this. But you can kind of look at the rates and where it's leveled out. So this is in the beginning. So this around here is going to be where most of the strength is going to be. 
So you can see, look, we have it, it kind of peaked above, but it still came back down to resistance strength. We also got strength here. Um, it kind of popped up here, getting out of the bearish market, and it didn't work out so much. So it came all the way down. But if you look, here's our level. So let's see what level is this. This is around 1,021. If you see, look, we come to test it again. This is a huge, um, the 1,021 mark, which is right here. You can see how many times it tests all right here. So the Fibonacci retracement tool, you can see, look at this. Look, one, wait, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, there's, there's at least 40 times. Look, it keeps testing, 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 and then when it explodes, it explodes. So right now we're in a big uphill. So the numbers we need to look at, so if you see here, looks like 14,854 was the previous um, fib and then we also got the 1002 around about one let's call it 12250 just to be on the safe side just so if it does come down that low you don't miss out on a buying opportunity um, but you want to watch and confirm that it goes into the bullish so with the Fibonacci retracements so you can see here it went um, bearish and then it went bullish but it wasn't confirmed. You want it to confirm, and once it confirms, then that's when you buy in. So it, so if it bounces, so let's let's do from the three. Let's go from the lowest here to the highest up there. First, let's get our fib retracement tool. Lowest here. Long tool, guys. I'm sorry erase that I'm gonna go from the lowest to the highest so now look at this so it never confirmed this one somewhat confirmed but it didn't close throughout the day so it kind of bounced the day closing is where it confirms it so here it closed in the day it confirmed it we're bullish so then it went up went up went up right now we're just big time bullish so I mean we're in crazy territory I mean we we didn't even get out of bullish when we uh, dropped that much stayed bullish but once we if we got to this level then we'd get kind of worried about the 15 9 or 15 8 we dropped all the way down to 16 1 but it doesn't show it on this chart I guess it dropped too quick but that's that's where you got to look for it so with the Fibonacci retracements the levels we're going to look at that you want to trade the most in is going to be uh, between these three levels. Um, if in an uptrend, the price will retrace down to a certain percentage before continuing upward move. So it makes its upward descent, drops down some, makes you can you can actually do fib retracements just for um, a certain amount. So like let's say we'll do from this peak or from this dip to this peak. Let's go with the fib from here to here. This is just a short term, so let's zoom in on it so you guys can see this. So look, we're starting here and here. So once this, this is our, our most bullish section. So this is where it, it bounced. It was in the five, so it popped back up. So we knew it hit bullish after it passed through this and confirmed. That means we need to buy in. We should buy in. Um, it, it's not guaranteed, but for the most part, it's going up. So look, we, we could have trade made a trade on this from 9 to 10 and made 10% in a matter of two weeks. Um, and, and, and you could trade the dips, and you can even use leverage. I wouldn't recommend leverage trading, but if you want to increase the gains, go for it. So... With Fibonacci retracement tool, it, it it's it gives you a good um, it, it helps you buy into the market at a good price when it's in a bearish or a bullish market. Uh, obviously, you don't want to buy in at bearish, but put in sell orders or 
what what not um that way you can short it if you wanted to i don't recommend shorting you can lose a lot of money but hey if you're good at trading go for it um also the fibonacci retracement you need to add also with the fibonacci retracements you want to have a stop loss level so that way if it does go down to that certain point so like say right here we went way down we went into bearish and it closed have that stop loss down so that way okay you get stopped out great but look you could have if you didn't have that stop loss you could have lost another four g's so it, it's good to have a stop loss in place so Fibonacci again to sum it up Fibonacci retracements for entries and Fibonacci's for extensions so extensions are when it's just gonna explode um, and this helps you get in at a good price or know when to get in so if you guys like the video go ahead and smash that like button if you like this type of content or would like to get updates as soon as new videos are made go ahead and hit that subscribe button that way every time I get a new video made or if you guys have any questions you guys can leave it in the comments I'll answer your comments um, I'll be making more videos on uh, trading Bitcoin cryptocurrencies and the whole gamut Thanks for watching, guys.